right, it's the 35 now, so it would be these guys' front foot would be on the 48. 12 yards off the ball. Yeah, and these two guys basically are three yards outside the hash on about the three yard line. And it kind of depends on elements and who you're playing and stuff where they take two deep guys off. But that basically is it. All right, now, remember the only thing that's important to me on kickoff returns, home runs or gravy, the only thing that's important is what? 35. That's it. That's a win for us. Field position starts at the 35. The, the opponent's got a pretty good kicker, and they're going to kick the ball down here. It doesn't matter, but let's just say for kickoff return purposes, the opponent's win is there. All right, this guy right here is, we're going to call him a, a, a drive guy. He's an end for us. Centers, guards, and ends. This is W1, wedge 1, W2, W3, and W3 for us is the wedge captain, and W4. This is right safety, left safety. All right, now, what I believe about kickoff returns is this. And this comes from my NFL stuff, and, and, and so you probably don't need to be as fine-lined as this, but in, in, in NFL, coaching NFL special teams, I promise you, when these guys have dropped three steps, I know where the return is. So I'm trying to get the front five guys to make all of their first three steps be the same, no matter what we're running. Okay? So, so in other words, what I'm saying is when that kicker's foot hits the ball, if the, if the coverage guy wants to look at you instantly, he can't get any kind of a read because eventually his eyes got to go back to the football pretty quick okay. or something's going to happen. So try, try to make them all three of the, uh, all of their drops look like the same. Right, left, and middle all look the same on the first three steps. All right, ball's kicked down here. <clears throat> These guys right here, well, let's talk about the point of attack. This guy is a drive guy, okay? This guy is the post guy. He's on the 35. He's going to take his, his drop. All of them are going to take their normal drop. This guy is going to post at the 30. He is going to not allow R3 to cross the 30-yard line. This guy is lurking outside the three and will blow him away. At the 30. The toughest block on the field is this guy. This guy has R2 and we have him drop as straight up as he can to him but get inside out at the last moment at the 33. Uh, I, I, I think I told you this, Jay, I don't know if I told you this or not. In order to, to play kickoff return for me on the front, this is the hardest thing to do in special teams, is to play on this, is to play one of these three positions. That's the toughest thing in special teams that there is. And the toughest one is this one. Uh, but these guys have to be tough guys for me. For me, the premise on kickoff returns is by grass. And that means I'm going to create a vacuum with nobody in it, no opponent in it, for 20 yards in front of that returner. And in order to do that, I can't be inside out on that guy. I've got to take the heat out of him. I've got to force him to run over me slow. Okay? R2. R1, we always keep our, our, our guards on the twos, we always keep our ends on the threes. He's a backside three. Anytime you're a backside player, 
on a directional return, you can let your guy run deeper because basically there comes a point in time, and it depends on how good their kicker is, but there comes a point in time here, sometime where between the 30 and the 25, where every, every step this coverage guy takes downfield, he's blocking himself. You, you have to determine by the, the hang on the kick what, where that point is. But basically, the backside two can drop inside the 30, maybe the 28, and this guy can go back to the 25 at least on the backside three because the more he runs downfield, the more he's blocking himself. Okay? All right, now, wedge three, wedge two, Wedge four was involved here, right? Yep. Okay. Wedge one, I'm sorry, wedge one is responsible for the backside one. Okay. Two and three are shoulder to shoulder, which you're allowed to do with two guys. Two and three are shoulder to shoulder, and, and we have two guys plus the offside returner to deal with these two guys. We've got a double team at the point of attack on the inside and if these if team we're playing wants to cover this way we've got a double team inside the point of attack and a double team outside the point of attack. A double on the four. If their four is a live player. Okay. Most teams are containing with four and folding with five. So the full guy. If that happens, this guy always has the five. He has the easiest block on the field. This guy, this guy's a contained player, so he's already half blocked. He's got to keep his outside arm free, right? He's half blocked. If he's a if he's alive, contained, we're kicking out on him. If he's a fold player, we're hanging off the hip of these of these guys, he's coming through the hole and climb blocking him right there, okay? Now, most of the time, you don't need to double this guy if he's a safety, if he's a full safety, okay? You can handle him with, we, 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 we use our W3 to handle him. We turn W2, whereas they usually run together at a live four, we turn W2 up and seal the hole, and, 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 and W3 kicks out, and the back that doesn't catch it is through the hole. And the key is, when this guy catches the ball, that he has his feet proper so, so that he can bring it. He's not catching it moving sidewards or backwards. He brings it, and he sells it and takes it to the hole. He sells it and takes it underneath these two guys to the hole. Okay. Now this should be locked off here. You've got a double team on this three. And and your your return, your right return is better. The first we tell these guys, we tell these two players here, this one and this one, that if you get this guy knocked into the hash, they can't stop us. We're we're gonna threaten the fifty yard line. Okay? Uh, if, if they don't get them knocked in, we're still going to get it across the 35 and make our goal, but you can't let this player cross the 30. He's got to be nailed there, and you've got to have an outside guy on him, the drive guy, so that he, nothing comes off there. And then everything is, 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 just, is just read. And you'll know this from film, what they're going to do. I mean, if they're going to be uh, contained with four, then you, you let your three. And this ought to be, a, to me, to me needs to be a fullback. Okay. It's great if both guys can be, but I've never had enough, enough fullbacks. Uh, but turn him out, easy block, because he's, because what? He's the contained, so what? He's half blocked. He's already half blocked. He's got to keep the outside arm free. This is a safety, so that's a soft bubble there. So this guy didn't have any problem. He's either he, he's always responsible for five. So if five is is the contain, he's half blocked. If five is the safety, he's sitting up and we and we climb his outside number. 
<coughs> we want the ball carrier to sell it, to set blocks for people, sell it, take it underneath the wedge guys coming out here, and run for the outside hip of this. That's where we want to be right there. 